Of course, I can also load other regions and other samples. So for example, if I want to bring in my um, LA Wawa reverb echo, I can just load another region. This region can be simply triggered by different keys or it could also be layered on top of the other. And so I can just put it on the same root key, extend it, and now the two regions are basically layered. And again, I can change my um, engine and go to, uh, let's say, something like a tone machine. But also what I can do is to go back to my map editor and actually have the two regions triggered by different velocities. So what I would do is to just move this and so I can see the other one and lower my second region. In fact, let's do this. The second region is going to be triggered by higher velocity. So I'm just going to do this. And I can see here that velocity from 65 to 127 are going to trigger this region. When I switch to the other region, I can simply say, okay, between 1 and 64, um, you can just change it here. Velocities from 1 to 64 are going to trigger this region. So if I, trick, if I play pretty soft, and if I press the key harder, I get a different sound. So that's very useful to create more interesting sounds. Not only that, I can actually crossfade between the two regions according to velocity. So if the um, if the uh, regions are overlapping like this, and then I make sure I select them both by pressing Shift, and I right click now. I have all sort of um, shortcuts and actions that I can do on those two regions. And what I'm looking for is the batch tools. And as you can see, I can auto apply crossfade by velocity. By doing so, I can see that each region fades in or fades out. So if I play now, can totally blend the two and again it gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of creating some interesting sound. So I'm gonna save this again. I'm gonna say it's gonna be voices flanger crossfade. Now what about if I want to go to a different studio or submit this uh, patch as an assignment for a class um, and I want to make sure that the receiving um, counterpart is going to be able to open my patch without a fear of losing the samples. So in that case, what I recommend is to save the patch as a monolith. So a monolith is basically the same as patch plus samples, but everything is contained in one package, in one file that is easily um, uh, transferable to another platform. So if I click monolith and I save this as a monolith, the file. Actually, let me rename it. The file will be only one and will contain both sample and patches and that's a monolith. So thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial.